Hi, my name is Nathan and welcome to The Daily Word. On today's episode of The Daily Word, we'll be in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 11 through 12. Let's read the scripture together on the count of three. One, two, three. These things happened to them as examples and were written down as warnings for us, on whom the fulfillment of the ages has come. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. Our daily word for today is the word warning. Let's say this word together, warning. So what does that word warning mean? Well, someone gives you a warning because there's something that's going to happen in the near future that you need to be aware of. Someone gives a warning to you to help you, to help you avoid trouble or avoid disaster. So it means that something is going to happen if you don't change your direction or your behavior. And the warning is put there so that you stop, so that you change direction and you avoid what inevitably will happen, which will create harm, or destruction, or pain, anything that's negative. So, for example, a road sign is there's a warning. Usually if you're driving and maybe you're entering into a residential area, there will be warnings saying slow down. Or maybe if there are are children playing, there's a school nearby, you'll see a sign saying children at play, or that there's a school zone that you're approaching so that you slow down and you avoid a, an incident or an accident because there's children playing. The warning is there before you get there so that you stop. Parents or good friends will warn you about certain behaviors or certain things you're doing so that you don't experience the hardship that you will if you don't change. So a warning is put there so that you stop or you turn away from what will happen if you don't stop or turn away, which will hurt you or maybe other people too. So now that we have a basic understanding of the word warning, let's see how that helps us to understand the scriptures in 1 Corinthians. So what we see here is we have Paul describing what the scriptures are all about. You know, why we even read the Bible. Now there's a lot of different reasons why we read the Bible. You know, obviously one of the reasons is because we're communicating with God and that's main the main way that he communicates back to us. You know, we pray And usually how he speaks back is in the word. But he's not just speaking trivially. He's not just sharing nuggets of wisdom so that we can get through our day. Paul is saying at the heart of the matter of scripture, when we're getting into our Bible reading plan or we're in our daily devotional, whatever it is, he's saying the main reason why all of these stories, especially in the Old Testament, were written down so that you have them was to warn you. So the question is, warn us from what? The the curse of sin and the presence of sin in our life is deeper than we know. It's deeper than we think we know. And we have the delusion, we fall for the lie that that maybe happened with them, but that couldn't happen to me. Those stories, they're extreme and wow, how could that happen to somebody? But That won't happen to me. I'm better than that. I know better. I work harder. I'm not around situations that that person in that story was around. I'm safe. Never fall for that lie. Never fall for that lie that you're safe because you're not safe. The moment that you start to feel like you're safe on all sides and you don't put on the full armor of God is when the enemy desires to go in and tempt you and draw you away from God. So Paul is saying, be clear when you go into the word, even when you're watching this video and we went over the scripture, take heed to that warning that the Lord is speaking into your life for whatever reason. I don't know what's happening in your life, but for whatever reason, he's saying, I need you to be paying attention. I need you to make sure that you are secured, that you have all the armor on because the problem of sin is with all of us. We are all vulnerable to temptation. We are all vulnerable to the power of that temptation to change our lives for the worse and to create distance between us and God. So 
one of the primary reasons we read scripture is so that we can be awakened to the reality and the problem of sin so that we never feel like we are the unique individual that never has to worry about it, that we don't have to ever think about the sin in our own life and repenting to that and about that. We read the scripture so that we can hear the voice of God and so often he's warning us and saying, beware, be alert, watch, listen, pray, seek me, listen to my son. So many of these are warnings. And if we're reading scripture faithfully, we will take heed to these warnings and we will make sure that we are strongly defended in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. So never reduce Bible reading or your reading of scripture to just daily motivation or affirmation. The words you read are there to warn you, to make sure that you understand what's happening, that you understand the reality of what's happening, not to be afraid, not to be living in fear, but to be wise, to be alert, and to know that God is with you, but the enemy desires to have you, but God is with you. So take heed to these warnings when you read scripture. Scripture is, is, is lovely, it's beautiful, it's amazing, it's sweet, it's good news. But so much in scripture is there to warn us, to make sure we understand reality and we don't fall off and fly away into deceiving ourselves that we're totally fine. So take heed to these warnings. Well, that does it for today's episode of The Daily Word. If you like this video or if you found it helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Or maybe go ahead and try to use this, this word in, in your English practice or training. What are some things that you know of that are warnings? But if you're reading the scripture, if you're seeking God in scripture, day by day or throughout your week, make sure you're taking these words in and asking the Lord, how are these warning me? What do I need to be learning from what I'm reading? And let him give you that protection and let him guide you through these stormy waters that we find ourselves in day by day. Well, my name is Nathan and this was your daily word. See you next time.